Hey, what's up everybody? This is your girl Miss P. I hope that you are doing fabulous. I'm doing well and I'm here to do another episode of Untitled Foolery. Honey, a bunch has happened this week so I have to do another entertainment random foolery for you guys. Go ahead and like this video. Please be sure to subscribe and also shout out to everybody who commented last week. I love the comments. So the random question for this week with your normal comment is going to be which show is better, Moesha or The Parkers? Mo to the eat to the dang mama you see how i did like a mixture of both my favorite character from both shows is gonna be kim like kim was crazy but if i had to pick a show but i wanted to be brandy with the dookie braids when i was younger huh if i had to pick and watch one all day oh lord have mercy i'd have to go with the parkers right now now the majority of you guys when i asked which was your favorite show a different world or the cosby show the majority of you guys hit on a different world and honey that was my favorite as well and this was my favorite theme song matter of fact let's just do it those shows i mean we'll never get any more of those shows now it's just ratchet reality foolery r.i.p to lee thompson young aka the famous jet jackson that's what i knew lee thompson young from what y'all know about the famous jet jackson what do you guys know about old school disney champ now they kissing and screwing and cussing halfway disney ain't like it used to be honey casey and jojo okay i thought we were done with casey and jojo casey jojo ooh, yeah. i thought we were done with them um after jojo was on couples therapy i thought we were finished and he was falling on the stage and stuff and kc they were trying to get their life back together on tv one i thought we were done with them but no they're back with a new song and they have a new video you can check it out on your own i'm not putting any blurbs i don't even want to see it anymore called knock it out they're not talking about we're gonna knock it out of the park this go around they're talking about knocking the frame out yes they're talking about beating it up kc juju jodeci back then i mean fiending what can i say what can i do y'all know but now i mean they're old I, I don't understand that's just like brian and i coming out with that um let me see how your puss box works i don't want to know brian casey's still the vocals are still crisp little jojo and his grill i just can't i i don't see it i don't want to see it the video i didn't get it and next, Brandy, she went to South Africa and she was supposed to close the show and how about they turned up the lights, everybody thought it was time to go home, Brandy comes out to perform on stage, yes, Mo Tutta, that's the Brandy I'm talking about, she's performing to about 40 people, that is about it, baby girl sung two songs and walked her happy ass off the stage, didn't nobody tell them that Brandy was coming out, they didn't put it on no tickets, no flyers, no nothing, they didn't even have no he say, she say, and Brandy girl, did you get your check to be doing Doing all that? I mean, you flew way across the world. I mean, across the world to perform for these people. And they ain't even tell nobody. Brandy, girl, look at your contracts. Get your life together. Uh-uh, wouldn't have been me. Once the lights come on in the club and they start playing that slow music, it's time to go. It's going to be a lot of flower bringing and slow singing. It is time to go. Good night. They had the lights all the way up. Brandy, uh, uh. And something is apparently wrong with Raz B's whole entourage. You guys know Raz B from B2K. Uh-huh. B2K is hot. I used to love B2K. Lil Fizz used to be my man. Like, you couldn't tell me nothing back in the early 2000s. You know, Raz B, he has skedaddled the country. He's in China. Doing performances or whatever Raz B is doing. And we always hear about Raz B. Something happened. He's in a fight. Something happened here. His pinky toe got cut off. Like, everything is happening to Raz B. And earlier this week, we were like, oh, Lord. Because we thought Raz B was in a coma fighting for his life on life support. I thought I was going to have to send some flowers. But now it comes back that it was a hoax and he fine. Everything's okay. I don't get it. What else is this young man going to do? Raz B, I'm going to say you need to stay over in China. Make your coins. Do some backflips. Whatever you're supposed to do. B2K is over with. You are not going to get on my, 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 my Maybach music. I don't see it right now. Stay where you are. Please do not send any more messages over here to the United States because you done cried wolf 50 11 times. Next time you're gonna be like Raz B dead. Oh, for real, okay. Did y'all see Lady Gaga's video for applause? I wasn't enthused, I wasn't excited. And I don't even know how to rip it apart and tell you guys what it meant. Any Lady Gaga video, I don't know what to say. I wonder if I went out to eat with Lady Gaga, what would we talk about? As far as the video, I would say one of my favorite shots and she had, um, she has a bikini on, but it looks like a man's hand over her boobies. I loved it. I want one of those. Like, seriously, mine would have to be a little bit bigger. She had one where she looked like um, a little, 
Tyrannosaurus E.T. looking thing coming out of an egg. Honey, it was everything. Go check it out. I don't know how to explain it, but it was hilarious to me. I think I've been talking about Kanye and Kim for the longest, and Kris Jenner finally got Kanye on her season finale show. Honey, when I tell you Kanye got up there, he spilled all the tea, honey. I mean, he went to Bojangles, KFC, and Hardee's and got the sweetest tea he could get of life, put them all together, and spilled that tea all over the place. When Chris said, what do you think about all the scrutiny as well as the tabloids? And he was like, baby girl, chill on that. That's mine. And I love her. He didn't say it like that. I wish he did. But all in all, I was like, oh, that's so sweet. It's about time. That he has professed his love to Kim. We will definitely see him on the 9,000th season of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I can't wait. Don't you see how happy I am? That is about all that I have for this week. Please be sure to like this video and comment down below on which show is your favorite and who is your favorite character. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys next Sunday for another episode of Untitled Foolery. Peace, love, and all that good stuff. God bless. Bye!